Hey, what's happening gamers? I wanted to try something a little bit different today. And before we start these daily challenges, you can see that I actually have gold in both of these cups, which doesn't usually happen a lot for me, because uh, these challenges are pretty intense. Which, I mean, the name of the app is Challenge Map, but you can see that I really don't have that many gold. Usually got silver and lots and lots of bronze. But uh, anyway, like the old days, I thought we would just get together and, you know, talk. Uh, just tell people what I'm up to and things like that while I attempt to reduplicate my early success on this. So let's let's give this a shot, shall we? So as you can probably tell over the past couple years, a lot of things have been changing for K-Wing reviews and things like that. We have just celebrated our one year anniversary of the Let's Play channel, which I, it's more of a commentary channel than Let's Play. I mean. I guess I, I don't really understand the whole mechanics with Let's Plays other than the success of keywords and all that fun stuff. But I know that a lot of you guys and gals subscribed to me originally on this channel, Nightwing01, for reviews and then we incorporated news and retro things and things like that. But as time went on, you didn't really see that many reviews anymore. And the Let's Plays are definitely a big reason because of that. And also the fact that my life is changing a lot. Uh, I turned 30 on February 18th, and that was a pretty intense feeling at first, but now it just feels like another day. And I was just looking back at my life and seeing how I want to do this whole YouTube thing now, and I realized along the way, some parts of this didn't really become fun. It became a job. The reviews became actual work. And I hate that. I really do. And, you know, seeing the success of uh, some of my colleagues in the game station, like Angry Joe and uh, Peanut Butter Gamer, who I got into the game station, and things like that, I realized something that I can never be those guys because my life is completely different from them. Um, other than, I believe, uh, at least Austin has a girlfriend, I've been married my entire YouTube career. So I have a lot of responsibilities outside of gaming and my YouTube channel, and that's to my wife, and we are to the point now where we're ready to have kids, at least we want to. And so when you factor bringing a child into all this, I really don't see how the reviews are going to survive or the Let's Play channel would be daily. I mean, something's going to have to change in order for me to keep this pace up because as it is right now, I stay about... Uh, I get about five to four hours sleep a day um, just maintaining the two channels and the news has really helped out a lot like doing K news has completely changed how I do things because it doesn't other than the rendering times uh, it only takes me a couple hours to go through my research material and check my sources and things like that give people a call make sure this stuff is legit before I go out and make a K news video now with reviews is completely different. You have to record the footage, then you have to write a script and hope, you know, to God that you don't get writer's block, because if you do, oh, drat. If, uh, if you get writer's block, then you're doomed, and the video just sits there. At the same time, a lot of people expect me, you know, because of the whole real Game Master thing, to know every single game that I do, and sometimes I make a lot of amateur mistakes when I'm doing these reviews, and I take that to heart, and I just don't do them anymore. I mean, I've, I've done, what, uh, three, four hundred reviews in the time span of seven years. I just came to the point where my brain just went, you know? And Retro Mondays in 2010 was an experiment, a very fun experiment at first, but then it became, I don't know, very stressful, and uh, I made the mistake of watching other people in the race instead of myself, and I got disheartened, and I just didn't want to do it anymore. Now, I'm not to the point where I want to quit yet, but I'm not to the point where I want to keep that consistent, like where I want Retro Mondays or a review every week. Unless, of course, I can do a whole short review series, uh, like my friend Jared does, which he did um, that one-minute review thing. I did something similar when I worked for Zooey.com. I did two-minute reviews. So I think I'm going to go back to that setup just for the newer games. And I'm not going to lie, this week... When I found out uh, from a source of mine that the um, Deus Ex Revolution Director's Cut was going to be delayed, I was pretty upset because I played it at PAX. I got to interview the guy, which unfortunately that interview 
can't really be shown because I believe there was some stuff that he wasn't supposed to say, like a release date and other things like that, so I'd really have to tweak that 15 minute review down um, or have my channel penalized or something, which I have enough issues with this YouTube channel as it is, so I don't feel like being penalized or anything like that. So I don't see how I would be able to post that. Wow, I'm doing a lot better than I've ever done. Uh, Hang on, I'm, I'm getting totally distracted here. Oh, yes, yes, yes! I made it this far, I can't believe this! This is awesome! Oh, wow! Oh, I'm getting scared now. No, 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 no! Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, okay, we, we got past it. We got everything. What just happened? How am I supposed to do that? Oh, that's... Wow. I... I thought I was gonna win Platinum, but this game, it just throws you a curveball. You know what? I'm done with you daily extreme challenge. There's no way that I'm gonna be able to repeat that. So we're just gonna go or that that wasn't the extreme. That wasn't even the extreme challenge. Ah. Oh. oh, I'm 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 getting such a headache. But uh yeah, this is the daily extreme. I haven't had them open for very long. And I did get a silver last night, which I was pretty happy about. So what Ah, sorry, ADD moment. Um, what was I talking about? I don't think I'll even remember at this point now because I got totally distracted. But, um, the whole Retro Mondays thing, I've covered all my favorite games, pretty much. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm sure some of you guessed, um, the next Retro Mondays that I have been working on is Tin Star, but I forgot how challenging that game is. And I was joking around with Gerard a while back that when I used to do reviews, it was for completion. And I would play the game several times, and I'm at that point in my life now where I can't do that. And I wish you all the success in the world, my friend, to be able to do the completionist thing, because that's got to take a lot out of you. Um, just playing even one game to completion is very frustrating, especially the classics. So, Tin Star has like three or four different endings. I'm not going to be able to show them, and there's also some parts where I'm not going to be able to get past it because I don't have the Super Scope. I still have the Super Nintendo mouse, but you can only get so far with that. And once that's once I get to that point, which I think it's um, 10 star goes by the days of the week, I think I'm going to start to fail by Thursday. I barely pass Wednesday. Um, so don't expect all the levels to be shown, especially when, when I do these classic games because I just don't have time. It's just not conceivable anymore. I, I really wish I tackled these games early on when my channel was not to the point where it is now. And uh, as a YouTube director, and especially with a network, which I'm sure you guys and gals don't know this, there's actually a lot of pressure to do the whole branding thing now. So I have to look at myself as my company is now a brand and YouTube operates that way now. The keywords don't really do squat anymore. And there's just so many changes. So in order to stay relevant, because uh, even to a lot of my colleagues and older YouTube people, I'm considered a relic. Like, my stuff is very old school. It hasn't really changed other than, you know, news segments and some other stuff here and there. So I have to find ways to stay relevant to, you know, just pay the bills. Because essentially, last year, I gave up being a journalist, like, other than, you know, from a publication. Oh, yes! So I'm more freelance now, but in the sense that I'm really freelance. So I can go to whatever company I choose and, and things like that. Oh! Ooh, wait, 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 okay. This is the farthest I've ever gotten, so... Man, this is this is intense. I'm, I'm sweating here. Don't... Oh! Man, I was so close. I was so close. So close, yet so far away. Doing these challenges anymore. I can't. I can't hear myself think. So yeah, I got, I got double gold in today's challenges. But mainly before I, I did this. I'm, I'm amazed that I was able to get further in the um, the daily challenge. And no, I'm, I'm not even going to tackle Murphy's challenge. I hate the Murphy challenges because I, I'm just not fast enough for those. But I, I like the whole mechanic and things like that. I think we'll end this with um, one of my favorite aspects of Rayman Legends, which is the music games. They're a lot of fun. As a drummer and a musician, I, I really appreciate them. So anyway, uh, what what we're planning this year is there is going to be more of a presence on the Let's Play channel. Sometimes you'll see, I want to say like two or three uploads a day, depending on the type of game we're doing. Um, right now, because I have been working on reviews like Luigi's Mansion and Fire Emblem, 
and Monster Hunter and things like that, we haven't been able to post a lot of the stuff that we've had done because I haven't had time to go through and actually record new Let's Plays yet. I'm going to sit down with Amber tomorrow on Mother's Day, and we're going to record hopefully the rest of Skylanders since it's a short series. And um, I'm trying to think. Uh, I believe it was Lego Lord of the Rings or Transformers because we've both been watching the G1 cartoons again. See, this is, isn't this just so much fun? I always miss that guy. But um, <laughs> this this game is just so much fun. I, I'm i so guilty of playing this over and over again. I'm also working on, a lot of people don't know that I'm a, aside from a fighting game enthusiast, I love racing games. So I've been spending a lot of time with Need for Speed, Most Wanted on the Wii U. And I want to do a series either on this channel or the Let's Play channel called Sunday Drive where I go online and I race people and just, I don't know, kind of talk to you guys like this. If it's something you're interested, uh, feel free to leave a comment below. I, I play the game every night anyway for a couple hours before bed. So, you know, I invest about 12 hours at work and then I play Need for Speed or the Raymond Challenges for like three hours before I go to sleep. Uh, so, yeah. There's 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 a lot of stuff. I, I was also talking to friends in the Game Station Network as well. Did you know I'm like one of the only channels that did reviews, let's plays, and vlogs, and has three separate channels for that? So uh, even Total Biscuit, he only has like the one main channel, and then he had a StarCraft channel for a while, and he just does commentary. He doesn't really do reviews or things like that. It's interviews and commentary, so he can be consistent with his content that he's been forever. And stuff like that. And Gerard, the completionist, actually struggled to maintain his Let's Play channel and review channel because it's not as easy as people think. It's like, okay, do this, do that. I, I really don't know how Austin does it. Um, but you've seen with the Game Grumps that even they weren't able to keep up their main channels and their Let's Play channel. But anyway, uh, that, that's it for my uh, update. We have some fun stuff coming. The Assassin's Creed 3 thing is going to start. It won't be as... Um, in depth as I wanted to because I'm psyching myself out but it is coming and there's a lot of fun stuff on the way so thanks so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up and I'll see you later gamers god bless happy gaming